In this problem, we're being asked to find the partial derivative of u with respect to z. So when we're finding the partial uh, with respect to z, all of the other uh, variables are constants. So let's think about that before we do the derivative. So x here is a constant. z is a variable. I'm going to bring it upstairs. I'm going to write it like this. y, which is a constant, times z to the negative 1. So this is our variable. I'm going to just write it there just to really make the point. That's our variable. So think back, you know, when you have a constant to a variable power, what formula do you use? Well, if you have a to the x, where a is a constant, and you take the derivative with respect to x, you get a to the x times the natural log of a. So here, this is what we have, right? Instead of x, it's, instead of a, it's x. And so this is our constant. So we take the derivative, it'll be x to the y times z to the negative 1 and then ln x, and then times the derivative of the inside. So we're taking the derivative with respect to z. So the y is a constant. So you bring down the negative, and then you get z to the negative 2, right? Power rule for uh, derivatives. And so this, uh, we can rewrite it as follows. This is negative y, x to the y over z, ln x, and then we can bring down the z squared. Really, really a uh, little bit tricky because there's so many variables. So again, when you're taking this derivative with respect to z, everything is constant except the z. So you're in this situation here, so you use this formula. So it's x to this power, ln x, and then times the derivative of the inside using the chain rule. And keep in mind, you're differentiating with respect to z, and the y is a constant, so it hangs out. I hope this video has been helpful. Not a messy problem, but a very, a very careful one. Good luck.